Yes, so far we learnt about the solar system, isn't it? Yes, the sun, the eight planets including earth, then comets, asteroids, meteors, all consists of what? Yes, the solar system, isn't it? Yes, and universe, all, cons all consists of the universe actually. Universe is a vast space. So the sun, uh, the eight planets including earth, the moon, the moons, comets, meteors, asteroids, all consist of the universe. Yes, so we learned about solar system. Solar system, sun is at the center. Then all the planets are revolving around it. So the eight planets are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Yes, so Mars, Mercury is the smallest planet of the solar system. It is close to the sun. And Venus is close to the Earth. Venus is the brightest planet. Earth is the planet where life exists. Earth is the only planet that has water on its surface. Then uh, Jupiter is the largest planet. Isn't it? Yes. And the most beautiful planet is uh, Saturn because of the rings around it. It makes it more beautiful. Yes. Then we learned about the sun, the huge ball of hot gases. It is the biggest star, we say. Hmm? It uh, gives us heat as well as light. Uh, sun rises in the east and sets in the west. The energy that sun gives out is solar energy. Plants need sunlight to prepare the food. We need heat and light of the sun. Yes, and the solar energy, we use it for many purposes, for cooking food, uh, for running vehicles, lighting lamps. It is an environmental friendly fuel also, solar f energy or solar fuel, solar cookers we are using, solar heaters are using for uh, heating water, etc. Nowadays people are using solar energy, make use of solar energy. Uh, yes, now we learn about the next step heavenly body in the universe yes which does not have its own light yes sun when sun's light fall on it it reflects yes it is the moon yes the moon moon does not have light of its own huh? when sun's light falls on the moon it reflects that's why we are able to see the moon so the moon appears in the night sky at night we can see moon it is the closest neighbor of the earth. So um, we can say moon is the closest neighbor of the earth. It looks like a white shining ball. So it is also a white shining ball we say. It shines because of the sun's light. It is also a white shining ball. Moon is smaller than the sun but still it appears to be almost same in size as the sun. Actually sun is the biggest or largest object but moon actually it is very smaller than sun but appear to be same size but actually moon is smaller than sun. Why it is appears to be uh, same size because moon is close to the earth we can see the moon sun is very far. And the moon, this is so because moon is close to earth and sun is very far. The moon does not have its own light. Yes, it reflects the light of the sun that we already know. Yes, so moon appears in the night sky. At night we can see moon. It is a white shining ball. Actually the sun's light falls on moon and it reflects that light. So that's why we can see the moon at night. And moon actually it's the closest neighbor of earth. Uh, actually moon size is smaller than sun but uh, moon size and sun size it seems to be same because moon is closer to the earth and sun is so far that's why moon is appearing like that to us then have you ever wondered that the shape of the moon is not the same every day every day did you do you watch do you used to watch uh, this moon every night you can see the moon at night and when you see the moon all the day or all the nights do you see the same shape? Sometimes moon is round shape. Sometimes we can see the half of the moon. Isn't it? Yes. The shape of the moon they have shown here. The faces of the moon we say. Faces of moon. Because it changes its shape every time. That's, it's called faces of moon. Different faces of moon. P-H-A-S-C-S. Faces. Huh? 
moon appears to be different every day every day the shape is different sometimes it is round isn't it sometimes we can see the moon in this shape huh? yes so different uh, shapes of the moon moon appears to be different every day it appears to change its shape on different days the changing of the shape of the moon it is known as the phases of the moon because the moon change its shape every day the change in the shape it is called the phases of moon then moon appears to be different in shape every day yes because it moves around the earth and the light of the sun falls on its different part actually moon is it moves around the earth it you know it takes 29 days for the moon to go once around the earth so moon is moving around the earth it takes 29 days for the moon to go once around to go once around the earth it takes 29 days almost one month isn't it yes so uh, moon appears to be different in shape every day why because it moves around the earth and what happens light of the sun is falling on the moon isn't it so we see only the lighted parts every night so light of the sun is falling on the moon so moon is uh, moving around the earth so when moon is moving around the earth sunlight is falling so that part only we are seeing not the full moon isn't it so when light is falling on the moon when it is revolving around the earth this, that part where the uh, sun's light falls when moon reflects that light only that part we are seeing that's why it appears like that means shape change in the shape we say isn't it yes so we see only the lighted parts at night the moon uh, do you know the moon is the earth's only natural satellite and was formed 4.6 billion years ago it is the earth only natural satellite the earth's natural the earth only natural satellite is what the moon the earth's only natural satellite is moon the earth's only natural satellite is the moon the only natural satellite of the earth is the moon we say yes and it was formed millions and millions of years back or 4.6 billion years ago it's a large number billion yes, last time we learned isn't it yes so moon appears to change its shape every day so changing the shape of the moon that is called the phases of moon actually moon revolves or move around the earth moon moves around the earth it takes 29 days for the moon to go once around the earth yes so when it moves around the earth sun lights fall on it and we are seeing only the lighted part not the other side of the moon yes so that's why we are seeing uh, moons in different shape yes so moon appears to change its shape every day and it is the only natural satellite of the earth the only natural satellite of the earth is moon we say okay yes so so far we learned about the solar system the sun the moon isn't it yes so solar system uh, actually sun is the center of the solar system with eight planets revolving around it yes we learned about this eight planets sun is the center of the solar system it is a huge ball of hot gases isn't it yes sun gives us heat and light and sun is the biggest star or the largest object in the solar system yes then we learned about sun's energy it is solar energy it is the sun's, sun is the main source of energy and sun gives out energy called solar energy which we use for running vehicles like tin lamps and for cooking uh, food yes for cooking fuel we use as uh, we use solar energy then we learned about moon yes moon it appears night in the sky yes moon does not have any light of its own it reflects the sun's light when sunlight falls sun's light falls on it it reflects it appears to change the shape every day so changing the shape of the moon every day that is uh, or the change in the position of the moon every day its shape 
it is phases of the moon yes so we have seen the phases of the moon isn't it it changes its shape every day uh, because well, actually moon rotate around the earth so when sun's light falls on it we are seeing only the uh, lighting part light up light part of the moon now the other side we are not seeing so it appears to change the shape every day yes so moon is the only natural satellite of the earth satellite means yes it's a body that uh, revolving around another body in space in space there are the satellites are some bodies revolving around another bodies so there are two types of satellites natural satellites are the man-made satellites are the okay natural satellites means the moon and the earth because moon is rotating around the earth earth is rotating around the sun so satellites means they are rotating bodies bodies that are rotating around another body in the space those bodies are actually called satellites so moon rotates around the earth earth rotates around the sun so sun and uh, sorry earth and moon they are natural satellites we say and moon is a natural satellite of earth so there are many man-made satellites man also made satellites because of that we are able to see the uh, tv programs and all because of the satellite connections and all that we will learn later okay yes so moon is the only natural satellite of the earth next uh, in the sky at night moon appears night in the sky isn't it yes we can see countless stars in the sky at night uh, we cannot count it they are countless they twinkle at the sky they shine in the sky isn't it yes they appear to shine in the sky yes the stars so next is the stars 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 you might have seen tiny objects shining in the sky at night these tiny objects are known as stars so stars are tiny objects shining in the sky the tiny objects or the small objects shining in the sky huh? it is the stars this, they are the shining objects or tiny objects shining in the sky small objects shining appears to be twinkling or shining in the sky stars are huge heavenly bodies but they appear to be very small because they are very far away from us actually they are not tiny they are not small they are actually they are huge heavenly bodies the size is very big but for us it appears to be very small because they are very far away from us yes there are millions of stars in the universe so universe is a vast space uh, in the universe there are millions of stars that's why we are saying they are countless we cannot count the number of stars the brightest star that we see in the sky is known as the pole star or north star pole star p o l e pole s t a r star or the north star pole star or north star these are the brightest star or north star the, this star is called the brightest star in the sky the brightest star in the sky is called north star or pole star yes the nearest star to the earth is sun do you know the nearest star to the earth is sun sun is the biggest star we said we learned isn't it yes it is also a star it is the biggest star and the nearest star to the earth is sun so sun is the nearest star to the earth nearest star to the earth is sun and the brightest star in the sky is pole star or north star we say yes so stars are tiny objects twinkling or shining in the sky actually the size are the size is so big the stars are huge in size because they are very far away from us they appear to be small and the brightest star is called the name is pole star or we say north star and sun is the nearest star for the earth to the earth 
the large group of stars is known as galaxy yes you know what is a galaxy g a l a x y is a group of stars a large group of stars it is known as galaxy the sun and our earth are part of a large galaxy sun our earth they are all are part of this galaxy large galaxy because they are all group of stars hmm? and it is known as large galaxy known as milky way or agash ganga yes this is known as milky way milky way we say it as milky way or agash ganga agash ganga why we say like this milky way or agash ganga yes because they are large galaxy sun and our earth are part of a large galaxy that large galaxy is known as milky way or agash ganga we say milky way large galaxy is known as milky way or agash ganga yes so large group of stars is known as galaxy and the earth and sun are part of a large galaxy it is known as milky way or agash ganga you can see the image of milky way here huh? the large group galaxy or agash ganga yes you will see some patterns formed with stars in the sky at night at night in the sky when we see the stars we can see some other patterns some interesting figures we say it look appears like human beings huh? yes but they are not humans but appears like that huh? some interesting figures we can see or some patterns we can see at night in the sky huh? formed with stars with stars stars forming some interesting pattern or interesting figures huh? appears to be like some human huh? oh, yes so these patterns are known as constellations these different patterns that star forms different designs or interesting figures in the sky at night formed by star they are constellations so they are known as constellations constellations c o n s t e l l a t i o n s constellations there are many constellations like ursa major major then ursa minor major is there minor is ursa major is there ursa minor is there scorpio scor scorpius we say leo these are some names of some constellations okay are some minor are some major scorpius or scorpion or leo uh, these are all the names of these constellations the constellation means uh, the different designs or patterns formed by star at night in the sky or some interesting figures they form uh, appears to be in the shape of a human some human structure or something like that so they are known as constellation there are different names we have given to these constellations like as a minor as a major then leo then uh, this is scorpius etc so you can see the image of these different patterns here see as a major you can see as a minor scorpius leo yes these are the constellations uh, uh, there are other constellation which looks like exactly a human uh, structure okay uh, so they form different patterns designs interesting figures they are constellations yes so that is about the stars so stars are actually tiny objects shining in the sky but really they are not small because they are very big size is huge as they are so far away from us they appears to be so small and sun is the biggest star and it is the nearest star to the earth we say and the brightest star is called pole star or north star we say and there are millions of stars in the universe that's why they are countless we cannot count the number of stars yes 
So a large group of stars, group of stars are known as galaxy. The sun and the earth are part of our large galaxy. It is called Milky Way or Agash Ganga. Milky Way is a large group of galaxy. Then there are some uh, patterns. The stars form some patterns, different patterns and designs or interesting figures at night in the sky. They are known as constellations. Uh, so we have given different names to these constellations like a sub minor, a sub major, Scorpius, Leo, etc. Yes. So we have uh, completed this chapter sun, moon and the stars. So we learned about sun, the moon and the stars. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. So we learned about what? The solar system. Isn't it? Actually, before that, we learned its uh, universe is a vast space consisting of solar system, eh? including all the planets, including Earth, Sun, then meteors, comets, moons, the moons, Sun, the planets, the moons, comets, meteors, asteroids, all consists of the universe. And the, we learned about the solar system. Solar system consists of the Sun. Sun at the center, Sun at the center and all the planets revolving around the Sun, all the eight planets revolving around the Sun. There are eight planets, we learned about eight planets, isn't it? Mercury, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Yes, among this Mercury is the close closest planet to the Sun or it is the smallest planet we learned and Venus is the planet that close to Earth yes and Venus is the brightest planet isn't it yes and Earth is the third planet where life exists or only it is the only planet where we can see water on its surface then Saturn is a beautiful planet because it has rings around it and the largest, biggest planet is the Jupiter. Yes. Then we learned about Sun. Isn't it? Sun is the center of solar system. It is the largest object. It's a huge ball of hot gases. Then it rises in the east, sets in the west. Yes. It gives out energy called solar energy. Huh? Suns, we get sun's light and heat. Sun is the main source of energy. Plants need sunlight to prepare the food. Solar energy we use for cooking food, lighting lamps and running vehicles. Then we learned about the moon. Yes, we learned about the moon. Moon appears to be, appears at night in the sky. It appears to change its shape every day actually. Why? Because moon rotates around the earth and moon does not have light of its own. When sun's light falls on moon, it reflects it. So when moon rotates around the earth, when sun's light falls on it, we see only the lighter part. So that's why we uh, uh, moon appears to be changing the shape every day. That change in the shape of the moon every day is called the phases of the moon. Phases, P-H-A-S-C-S. Phases of the moon, isn't it? Yes, the changing of shape of the moon. It is known as the phases of the moon. Changing of shape of the moon, it is known as the phases of the moon. Yes. So we see only its lighter parts every night. Every night when we see the moon, we see the lighter parts. Means when sun's light falls on the moon, that lighter part only we are seeing. Moon is rotating around the earth. And moon is the only natural satellite of the earth. We say moon is the na only natural satellite of the earth. Satellites are some bodies that moves around another body. Just like moon is a body which moves around earth. Earth is a body which moves around the sun. So earth and moon are satellites. They are natural satellites we say. They are occurs that they are in the nature. They are natural. So there are some man-made satellite also. Yes. Then we learned about the twinkling stars or shining stars in the sky. They are countless because there are millions of stars in the universe. Stars, they are, appear to be so small. They are tiny objects in the sky, we say. But actually stars are huge in size. They are big, big in size. The biggest star is the sun itself. So, uh, sun is the biggest star. Stars, some stars are very big in size. 
but because they are so far away from us they appear to be so small for us and the brightest star is pole star pole star or north star this star is called the brightest star in the sky then there are group of stars group of stars are called galaxy galaxy is called as a group of stars in galaxy there are group of stars are the earth and the sun that form they form part of a large galaxy so that large galaxy is called milky way or agasha ganga we say milky way large galaxy milky way or agasha ganga then the stars forms at night stars form some interesting figures or different patterns in the sky they are known as constellations the different patterns that star forms in the sky they are constellations there are different names for constellation alsa minor alsa major leo scorpio etc these are constellations in the sky they form different patterns different figures or interesting figures we say some figures looks like exactly human beings okay they appear to be like that so there are stars which form the interesting figures or different patterns they are known as constellations yes words to remember revolve revolve means move in a circle on a central axis center here moving huh it is revolve constellation group of stars uh, forming a recognizable pattern forming a different design or pattern giant is an imaginary or a mythical being of human form but superhuman size an imaginary form it looks like imagine it looks like a human but not human that is giant means okay uh, superhuman size means that exceed it cover the limit of the normal size or normal human power we say huh? yes that is giant is very big reflects means throw back without absorbing sun's light falls on moon moon will reflect throws back it it doesn't take that it it doesn't absorb it reflect it it throws out that's why that's called reflecting that's why we are seeing the moon at night because of sun's light falling on it appears means appear means comes to light into light become visible it is visible appearing means visible or noticeable especially without any apparent cause without any clearly any clearly visible thing still it is visible uh, so this appears appears to be it looks like like that actually it is not but it looks like then brush up the sun is the largest object in the solar system that we learned sun is the largest object in the solar system this is the center of the solar system moon is smaller than sun moon is actually smaller than sun but still it appears to be almost same size of the sun because moon is close to the earth it's a neighbor of earth so it is appear to be uh, same size of the sun actually moon is smaller than sun stars are huge heavenly bodies but they appear to be very small because they are very far away from us the large group of stars is known as galaxy life skills the sun gives us its heat in abundance sun gives us the heat sun gives us heat and light so it gives its heat it is giving more heat to us sun gives heat in abundance more we can use this heat as solar energy this heat we can use we can take we can uh, use it for different purposes yes this energy is used for various purposes such as cooking food lighting lamps and running vehicles that we already seen isn't it so solar energy sun's energy we use for cooking food and uh, running vehicles and all we should use solar energy instead of depending upon the electrical energy in order to save the electricity for future generations so future generation future the people they also has to have to enjoy this uh, nature isn't it they have we should save this energy for them also so that they can enjoy the life huh? we should save energy for future generation now because nowadays because of uh, increasing population because of the air pollution and all pollution um, pollution is increasing a lot so what is happening and uh, because of this pollution and all the wastage is happening more energy wastage is happening more people demand for energy is more 
So what is happening for the future generation? This uh, scarcity is happening, lack of fuels. Uh, then it will be very difficult. Now, now itself it is uh, becoming less. Uh, so we should save fuel for the future, future generations. They also want to live here, isn't it? So we can make use of the sun's energy or solar energy instead of electrical energy. Nowadays everyone now using electrical energy for everything. So without depending on electrical energy, if we use sun's energy, then we can save this electrical energy for future. Yes, so that's, that's the life skill they are telling. To, we can use the solar energy to generate electricity. Hmm? We can use sun rays. Huh? We are using this rays to drying clothes, towels, and we are using sun's heat only, isn't it? Yes. So uh, it's the cleaner, cleanest and purest form of energy. Solar energy is the cleanest and purest form. That's why it is called environmental friendly. It's a purest form of energy. It's non-polluting. Uh, so uh, it's, it's good to use solar energy. We can use solar energy to generate electricity. So without depending electricity directly, we can use solar energy to generate electricity. So and the solar cookers, hmm, solar heaters are the, these are all using solar energy only. So it's a non-polluting medium. So now, nowadays big, big hotels, they use solar heaters for heating water actually. It reduces the pollution and or reduce the air pollution. That is its main benefit. It reduces air pollution, it reduces water usage. So uh, we can use the solar energy for recharging and all means for charging phone and all we can make use of solar energy. Now for battery recharge, we can use solar energy. So at home we can use solar heaters and solar cookers and even hotels are using solar heaters and if you are making use of the solar energy for battery recharge and all or we can if you use it for generating electricity we can save the energy for future. That's what they are telling we should use solar energy. Uh, nowadays street lights are they are, uh, are running because of solar energy they are using solar uh, electric lights for street uh, for running street lights. So if uh, slowly, slowly, if we use this solar energy for all this, then we can uh, reduce the wastage, we can reduce the air pollution, water pollution, we can save the energy for the future. Yes. So we completed the lesson children. Now you can go through the lesson, just read the lesson as many times you can read. It is good for you. So read the lesson thoroughly. The lesson 22, sun, moon and the stars. Read the lesson properly. Read the spellings. If there is any spelling you find hard, please spell it and learn or write it and learn. Understand the each concept and learn. Read, learn. Then you come go to the exercise part. It will be so easy for you if you read the lesson twice and thrice. So read, read. Read and read the lesson as many times as possible. Okay.